So you know, it's, it's nice to have captain's chairs. I've got the table down. I am going to put two tables up in here, but they're going to go right there. One's going to go there and it's going to fold down. The other one is going to go there and it is going to fold down. I'm going to probably eliminate that big heavy one because it's just too heavy and bulky and not as nice to deal with. Um, but I may salvage the stuff off the bottom of it to use. So anyway, so you know, there's your your living room side basically, you know, just two fold up chairs. Um, what are we going to do in, in this area like full time? I don't know, like probably have a desk so I can do some computer work. And then over here, probably extend the countertop so there can be like more stuff if you're cooking a big meal. And you could use the table over here if you needed to as well. Then, of course, what I really wanted to do was move the bathroom and the refrigerator and the shower all back there and then open up the space out here. But that's probably just going to cost way too much money to do. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave things, I think, the way that they are. Let them stay pretty generic and make it usable as far as using the um, having water lines run. Well, you always have to worry about those busting, and that's what happened previously to this vehicle. I had to replace all the flooring underneath, plus put floor over top of it, which is why it looks the way it does. But um, that water tank, I'm, I'm thinking of having a way to just, um, almost like if you were out camping, you know, here's the shower, and then... You just use water, boil it, mix hot and cold to make, you know, warm water when you need to. Um, because if you ever run out of power wherever you're at, then the water stuff isn't going to work anyway. You've always got to worry about mold in the uh, tank. Um, and here's a bedroom, of course. I have a blow-up bed. This is going to be have to become a smaller bed because it is stretching itself right up to the walls, as you can see. And it's a little too tight for this space. But, you know, and I'm not going to, I can't get in there. You know, you can see the TV and um, I cut, I, we actually cut that side out because I was going to put a king size bed in here, but now I'm not sure if that'll work, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So um, it's because of that back, that thing right there um, is the reason that it's too, too far out this way. So if that wasn't there, it would actually fit up against the wall, no problem. So anyway, we're, I'm just thinking trying to keep it simple and you know, you can get in it and roll wherever you need to and the whole purse point is to have a, a place to sleep kind of and use the bathroom, which again, still got some work to do, but there's a bathroom in here we can use. I can dump water down it just like if I had a pump going as long as I just have water in here. Um, you know, I'm going to use less water if I have, if I always have water like this, um, these like little containers and I have one in the bathroom that's stable and I can just flush, you know, I can go to the bathroom and then pour regular water down the toilet just like it would and have it be in the tank and then empty out the tank um, wherever necessary. So anyway, just a little shot because I'm jealous of the pop-up homestead. So, you know, they're making videos. So now I made a video too. So what do you think about that pop-up homestead? No, I have not started my um, Mr. Gadget Guy channel yet. Which I will one of these days. But that's it for now. So, little uh, little says who, little pop up homestead, and um, you know, hopefully soon I will get to get in this thing and go down and visit them at the pop up homestead in the RV where it's kind of simple living. You know, just pull in, park, and kind of be done. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, see you later. Have a good one, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.